Public speaking can be a powerful activity. Hello, my name is Dr. Amanda Ratcliffe with the Department of Communication at the University of Texas at Tyler. In this video, I'll discuss the impact and benefits of public speaking, along with why we get nervous when we give a speech, and I'll share with you some, some tactics to control your nerves. But first, let's look at the impact of public speaking. First of all, if you're able to stand in front of an audience and deliver a presentation, you have a great amount of influence. You also get the opportunity to spread your ideas, whether it's your own research or it's uh, some of your own philosophies or findings. This is very important for students to be able to know how to do so you can spread your ideas when you give a presentation. Public speaking can also be used to motivate and inspire an audience. So now that we know the impact of public speaking, what are some benefits that you can gain from becoming a better speaker? Well, first of all, you can definitely increase your academic benefits. A lot of times students are called upon to give presentations on their assignments, and so being able to stand in front of your class and do that successfully will obviously improve your academic performance. Also, employers look for people who are good communicators. That includes people who can stand in front of a group or in a meeting and give a presentation. You can also gain social benefits by learning how to interact with groups of people that can translate over to your uh, social interactions. And then finally, you gain a lot of personal benefits from public speaking. The main one is an increase in confidence in your ability to communicate with others. So now that we know the impact and benefits of public speaking, we need to look at why we get nervous when it comes to giving a presentation. First of all, in our society, though it's highly regarded, public speaking is actually kind of an unfamiliar activity with many people. We may have a class in middle school or high school and then maybe another public speaking class in college, but we don't really spend a lot of time giving speeches. So a lot of us just don't have experience and that lack of experience can make us nervous when we're called to give a presentation. Also, there's this societal myth that public speaking is a scary thing. We have jokes about it. We often talk about it when we think about or, or hear about giving a speech. But I think the overall reason people get nervous is because there's an overall fear of judgment. You're standing in front of this group of people. All eyes are on you. And if you make a mistake, you fear the negative thoughts that may come your way from your audience. That's very normal, but it's also something that can be blown a little bit out of um, proportion. And so on the next slide, we'll learn how to control some of that mindset. But when we get nervous and things happen, and we want to discuss that physiological reaction. So when we're put in an unfamiliar situation or a situation that we're not comfortable with, our body tries to help us out by giving us an adrenaline rush. This adrenaline rush will help us um, either fight our way through the situation or fly away from it. You may have heard of flight or fight syndrome. Well, in a public speaking situation, we don't really wanna fly away from it. We wanna get through the presentation and do a good job. And we don't necessarily wanna fight our way through it unless it's just to fight through the nerves and deliver a successful presentation. But we notice that adrenaline rush causes a lot of things to happen. It may cause our stomachs to get a little butterfly. -y. It will increase our heart rate. Blood might rush up to our brains to help improve the oxygen rates to give us more power to think our way out of a situation. Our hands may get a little extra tremble to it and our bodies may have a hard time standing still because we've got extra energy from that adrenaline rush. So if we know that these things might happen to us, then how can we go about controlling them? Well, there's a lot of tactics for controlling the nerves. These are just some of the top favorites that I utilize in my own public speeches and that I share with my students. So first of all, you must practice. Be familiar with your content. This is not a glamorous solution, but it works. The more familiar you are with saying your speech out loud, the more control you will feel on the day of your presentation. That goes a long way in comforting you. You also need to have good speaker notes. It's not a good idea to have notes that are written out word for word full sentence, like a manuscript. Instead, you should have key points, uh, bullet points, main ideas outlined in brief notes. And you need to know those notes really well. That way you can look up at the audience and when you need to, you can glance down at your notes. 
get back on track, and then continue to look up at your audience and talk in a nice conversational manner. Having good notes can really be a benefit to a speaker. Know your content. This is very important and kind of repeats the first point. But the other thing that we can do is change the way we think about public speaking. So many people have a negative mindset and they automatically go to that negative mindset when they hear they have to give a presentation. So instead of thinking about all of the horrible things that could go wrong when you give a speech, in reality, probably none of those actually will occur. You'll probably end up doing a pretty good job. Change your mindset to include a more positive outlook. So instead of thinking, oh no, I've got to give a speech, think, okay, I have to give a speech. This is an area that I need to improve upon. What are some things that I could work on and polish? This change of mindset will help you greatly. Also, don't discount the power of visualizing yourself doing a really, well, a really good job. Athletes use visualization all of the time to go through in their minds what they want to happen out on the field. Public speakers can do the exact same thing. We can visualize ourselves walking up to the front of the room, delivering our speech in a professional, calm manner, everything working well, knowing our content, making good eye contact with the audience. We can play through this whole aspect in our minds, and that will help calm us down. Also, just gaining experience in public speaking can go a long way to helping you learn how to control the nerves in your particular situation. So anytime you get an opportunity to give a speech, you should take it just to gain more experience. Now what happens if you get there on the day of the presentation and a, a, a huge set of nerves just hit you all at once? Well, in order to calm down that physiological reaction, one of the things you can do is just to breathe. Now this sounds a little odd since we breathe anyway, but what I'm talking about is a deep calming breath that you repeat until you slow down your heart rate and get control of that physiological reaction. By breathing deeply, you will help your body calm down. Also smile. Smiling is a great way to calm yourself down. Smiling automatically makes you feel happier and it helps your audience feel more comfortable with you, the speaker. And so right before you begin your presentation, be sure to smile. Also, set realistic expectations for yourself. You may never get over being nervous giving a speech, but there are strategies that you can use to control the nerves. Don't place the burden of perfection on yourself. That's a very heavy burden to bear. We're never going to be perfect public speakers. No one is. But we can get pretty close to perfection through practicing, having good notes, all of these things that I've been talking about. But if you make a little mistake, don't worry about it. Life will move on. You will be fine. Overall, there are many things that you can do to help control the nerves. But don't place the burden of perfection on yourself. So today we've talked about the impact and the benefits of public speaking, along with how to control the nerves, why we get nervous, and how to control the nerves when giving a speech. I hope you find this video has been helpful as you prepare for your own presentations. Thank you.